So the exercises we're going to run through today, if you've got any injuries or illnesses guys, just make sure you check with your GP before you start. At any stage with the exercises, if you feel any discomfort, stop straight away and seek further advice. Final component, what we're trying to do is just really relieve the tension of the tight muscles. It's just maintain that joint mobility for injury prevention. So what I'm demonstrating to Wayne here is the uh, step stretch, which we're trying to stretch out the calf muscles, so the, the muscles down the lower part of the lower leg. So what you need is a nice firm step, place the balls or the feet on the step, keep the body up nice and straight, and lower the heels down towards the ground. And now I'm going to get Wayne to have a go at this. So once he's in position, I'm just going to get Wayne to hold it there for a good 30 seconds. So standing up nice and straight, dropping the heels down, looking straight forward and hold that stretch for 30 seconds. So we said how tight the muscles, the pec muscles are. Also an upper muscle group that's really tight is up in the neck muscles called the outer traps. Simple way to stretch it, Wayne, is just grabbing onto the edge of the table. So that holds your shoulder down. And all I'm going to get you to do is drop your ear towards the opposite shoulder. And what you should feel is a stretch from the ear all the way down to the point of the shoulder. I'll let you have a go with that one. So again, and then just dropping the ear down towards the opposite shoulder. Hopefully you can feel a bit of a stretch there. Yeah. Feeling a stretch there? Yeah? Now, if Wayne wasn't feeling a stretch, all I'm going to get him to do with his spare hand would come up and grab the head and just ease it down a little bit further. Again, you want to hold that for about 30 seconds. These muscles cause people a lot of headaches and a lot of tightness up through the shoulder. So this stretch can be done every day, guys. It can be done, you know, after a shower in the morning. It can be done while you're on the wool class table. Okay guys, just going to demonstrate Wayne the half heel quad stretch. Now, the muscles we're trying to sh the stretch here are the, the hip flexors. Now, a lot of people with lower back problems have tight hip flexors, so it's a great way to prevent tightness through the lower back, because these muscles actually attach onto the front of your spine, and they actually pull your spine forward. So, taking the pressure off those muscles takes the pressure off your back. So Wayne, what we're trying to do, resting down on one knee, the other knee, the foot's flat on the ground. You want a straight line between your knee, hip, and shoulder. So up nice and straight, pushing forward and actually leaning back into it. As you can see, there's a straight line between that leg that's resting on the ground. Now if you're not getting a great stretch yet, what you need to do is just lift that one arm up and lean back a little bit and you'll feel the stretch even further. So you fill it up right across the top of the hip there. I wish you have a go. It's good to have something to lean on to just to keep your balance. The last thing you want to be doing when you're stretching is trying to hold your balance as well because the muscles are actually going to contract. So pushing that hip forward, leaning back into it a little bit, and then stretching that arm back as far as you can. And probably not quite as far as that, just go forward. You don't want to rotate the hips. That's it, perfect, good. That's the movement there. Can you feel that stretching over the top of the hip? Again, guys, stretching, we need at least 30 to 40 seconds. And relaxing down. Now, Wayne, what I'm going to get you to do before we're talking about the neutral back position, this time, before you actually go into the stretch, I'm actually going to get you to pull the tail in between the legs, tighten the tummy mu muscles by pulling that bare up in, and then go into the stretch and feel the difference there. While we're doing that, guy, why why we've got the neutral back position? It actually holds the pelvis in the correct position and allows a better stretch. Can you feel the difference between yeah, the right. yeah. So straight away, we've got the pelvis or the hips in a good position, and my inside will get a better stretch. So not only are we getting a good stretch here. We're also strengthening those that muscles and helping prevent those back injuries. So it's just down on one knee, so we foot in front. Just make sure this leg is uh, right in this here, 90 degrees. And that one's straight down there too, and you're nice and straight through your back and shoulders. So sitting up nice and straight and tall. And it's just basically a lean forward. 
So you just lean into the stretch, make sure your torso remains upright. You should feel the stretch down. These exercises can be done anywhere, anytime. So another good one for the quads is just stand, just if you like, just to keep your balance, just hanging onto a rail or something that's handy, and just holding onto your ankle and just lifting it up, leg up behind. You feel a nice stretch down the quad there. So this got Wayne demonstrating the technical stretch here. And as he said, it can really feel it across the chest opening up. So what it's doing, a lot of guys are very rotated through the front of the shoulders. So what it's doing is actually opening up and externally rotating the shoulders. And then relaxing down. Well done. Remember you can do these exercises in any order at any time of the day. They don't have to be done at the same time each day. When you start to feel fitter, you can do them more often. It's really important to learn your own limits, especially if you haven't been active for a while. Exercise physiologists call it your rate of perceived exertion, or RPE. You need to know when to stop. You need to listen to your body and learn to recognise how each exercise feels for you. Never overdo it.